Hey friends, welcome back to Hot News. It's your special Sunday edition of Hot News. Be sure to hit the like button so that you can support us and the algorithm knows that we're good. Also, turn the notification bell on. It's a good thing. Do that. Anyways, I've got my existential question of the day for you. Everybody knows the nursery rhyme. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, is Bingo the name of the dog or the farmer? The sentence construction could indicate either. Which one is it? Let us know down below in the comments and also in that poll. Bingo is the name of the farmer or the dog? Okay. Let's go ahead and talk about Intel. Is it Intel or AMD? Huh? Which one you got to choose? Because Intel came out at their security day this past week and said that they are presenting a new vision for their security focus setup in their chips. Obviously, this is something that they desperately need considering the fact that they've been in the news for all of their vulnerabilities that have been presented in their CPUs and just all of the attacks. And it's just not been a good good time for Intel and their security issues with them having to be patched in the microcode and causing slowdowns. Anyways, on top of improving their current existing SGX, which is the software guard extensions, they're also going to be implementing what they're calling total memory encryption, TME, and multi-key total memory encryption called MKTME. And this is a big deal because it'll help to offer full memory encryption, which is something that AMD has offered for quite some time now. They rolled it out with SME, also known as secure memory encryption, and SEV, Secured Encrypted Virtualization. So this was something that AMD proposed back in 2016 and is featured on their CPUs. And according to real world testings that is out there right now, it's actually more efficient and takes less power overall to use than Intel's current SGX setup. And then obviously it doesn't have as many known vulnerabilities as part of it. So there's a lot of advantages to using AMD's security. And it looks like Intel is going to finally catch up with their TM or with their TME and and key TME. So let me know what you think about that down below. We'll leave a link to our source, which has a more technical breakdown than that. But Intel finally catching up to AMD in the CPU department as far as security is concerned, which we could talk about future CPUs since there's a new retail SKU list coming out of the new Intel 10th generation of CPUs. In case anybody's not familiar with the word SKU, it's actually an acronym for stock keeping unit. It just helps to make sure that everybody knows where what things are. Anyways, so we have the full list. You can check it out on the screen. It looks like it's going to go from i3 Pentium all the way up to the 10D900K. So there you go. But this might also help to explain the fact that it looks like the Core i9-9900KS is going end of life. Stock doesn't seem to be around and those that are in stock seem to be having an increased price point. So it looks like Intel is phasing that out, which is not necessarily such a big deal because they did say it was going to be limited edition. It doesn't look like this is affecting the 9900K. But in case you wanted the 5 gigahertz all core 9900KS, you might want to try to get it now before the getting's gone. And then lastly, there seems to be some indication that Intel's Project Z GPU is being spotted in the wild in some benchmarks. Sysoft Sandro's benchmark seems to have a 96 compute unit, 1.5 gigahertz clock speed GPU in its database as of now, and it looks like it's coming from Intel. It appears that this might be the DG1, or this could be an integrated GPU that might be coming up in Intel's Tiger Lake CPUs that are coming out. My sign is dead. I hate this episode of Hot News. I'm going to leave it there. What was my existential question of the day? Is Bingo the name of the farmer or the dog? Let me know in the poll right up there. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to figure out this sign. I love you too. Bye. This is